Hey everybody, welcome back to Thicker Liquor. My name is John, and today we are out in the country, and I'm with my good friend Dan and Lucy, and we are going to check out this Rebel Cask Strength 120 proof bourbon. You excited for this? I am. Let's get into it. We are back, and um, I'm excited, Dan. This is a Rebel Special Limited Edition Cask Strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon, 120 proof. <laughs> Jet fuel. Jet fuel. Uh, we're going to see. This is interesting, because look at all of these bottles. They say, hand-selected by Binney's Beverage Depot. So I did get this at Binney's. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, out in uh, Chicago, they're a big, uh, you know, liquor store out there chain a big liquor store chain they have you know it's a huge place and it's interesting because these this rebel and i like the rebel we've had that bourbon before the regular rebel yeah uh, so this is a single barrel 60 percent alcohol 120 proof and i don't know um how does binnie's get their name on here you know what i mean this has got to be like if you can't Get it at Binnie's. It ain't worth drinking. It ain't worth drinking. <laughs> drinking. Binnie's, this is not sponsored by Binnie's at all, but we should be. Yeah, I don't know. It must be a marketing thing for them. It's a but, marketing uh, thing for them. And then, so basically, you go out to Rebel and you're like, hey, we want our own batch, so to speak, right? So then this batch, this particular batch of uh, special limited edition is going to be only, you'll only find this booze at Binnie's. Right, and then you go one town over, and then they probably got the same thing going on at the liquor store, uh, you know, in the Shelbyville <laughs> right. town as well as Maybe. Uh, it, whatever, because they, you know, obviously they're not selling this just to Vinnie's. No, they'll sell it to anybody, anybody, anybody that, who's thirsty. We're gonna check it out now. I don't know. I haven't tried this. I don't think you have either. Uh, it's weeded, and it says defiantly smooth. And you're thinking, how the heck is 120 proof going to be defiantly smooth? It better We're be. We're going to see. This wasn't a cheap bottle either. I think it was like 50 bucks, something like that, uh, for this. So, um, you know, it's, it's upper upper in the price of uh, bourbon and stuff. There's a barrel number. We know exactly what barrel. This barrel was filled in January 16 of 2018 do so the math it's five years uh, almost to the day uh you know to the week or whatever so it's five years that this has been sitting in a barrel and then it's set at Benny shelves for you know a couple of months and then you know here we are now, let's put some in our glass let's check it out you know a lot of these bottles will just give you all of the flavors and everything that's involved and you get nothing out of here so this is a surprise the color is obviously darker than um, some of the normal stuff that we drink mm -hmm. I think right they don't describe the nose so we can find that stuff online uh, but what is what do you got I don't know but it's it's uh, not that overpowering you know with the alcohol I think that Uncle Ernest we had was more, more so. Had more so, and that was a 93 proof in terms of the nose. So whatever the nose they do here, they covered up pretty good. Yeah. Your smell. Yep. So let's give this a try. Let's see what we get out of this guy. Man, is it 120 or is it 120? Now you can well, it's pretty smooth for 120. And kind of not not overpowering, very subtle flavor. Like you could sip it, right? Yeah. I mean if you're sipping this, that's gotta be pretty good. But you know, you you we can taste it. I mean it's like the uh, it's lingering. But not it's, in a bad it, way. No, it's just warming me up. Warming me up. 
<laughs> yeah, this is something that you'd have around your barrel, you know what I mean, around your neck if you're uh, <laughs> one of them dogs. Uh, you want to warm people up. Uh, be this good is, today. This would be a good day today. It is freezing cold out there today, and there's a lot of snow. Uh, and this is, you know, this is would be a perfect one here. Although it, that's actually not true. You know, you do get colder. I know. You just think that you're warmer, you, but, and you don't care. And you you care you a little less. Feel better about it. <laughs> you do feel better about it. <laughs> but you know, this is different because if I was drinking scotch. I would still have the taste yeah. lingering around, and it's not there with this. 120 proof. Not lingering, but it was a pleasant aftertaste, and not uh, you know didn't, didn't burn. It wasn't that much fire. For really, 120. Really, for 120, very little, very smooth. Is this the highest proof drink uh, bourbon you've had to try? Bourbon, yeah. I believe so far. What do you mean by bourbon? You had something else that was stronger proof? Yeah, White Lightning. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everclear. Oh, yeah, the Everclear. Okay. I think it's close to 180. 180? We're going to find out. Close to as pure alcohol as you can get. But that I wasn't believe, smooth. To drink. No, that was pure fire. <laughs> this is Not actually. Pleasant. This is very this good. This is interesting because at 120 proof, you think, you think you wouldn't be able to tolerate it. But they do such a good uh, job with the flavor. Okay, so if you're just talking about the fire, yeah, it's 120 proof. You can certainly take it. I wouldn't be doing shots of this stuff. But it doesn't linger around. That'd be a different thing, but yeah, it's very it's tasty. It's good. It's, yeah, and I was going to say that the other thing is, okay, so you got the 120 proof, but then if you're talking about taste, this has got to be loaded with like caramel and stuff. You know? Yeah, it's sweet. I like it. I like it too. Pretty incredible. 120 proof Rebel cask strength. Distilled and aged in Kentucky for Lux Road Distillers in Bardstown, Kentucky. And, you know, and the cask strength is just that this is what it comes out of right out of the barrel. Is that 120 proof? And normally if they're going to commercialize like the other one where they make it all like 90 proof across the board, then they just water this down. They water it down, you know, to the point where it's exactly 90 proof. So, but people like this. And out of the 100 plus proof bourbons that I've tried, I probably have to say that this is the most tasty one. Yeah, a lot of flavor in this one. Mm -hmm. This is enjoyable. So what about right now? Like if you're smelling it now that you've been drinking it for a little bit, what do you get if you smell it? Can you identify any of the flavors or whatever they have going on here? Not really. I mean, it's sweet. You know it's sweet. It smells like cookie dough. <laughs> ah, see? There's a flavor there somewhere. So you're getting cookie dough. It smells like uh, the type of cookie my grandma used to have was a Oreo cookie knockoff called Hydrox, and it had a particular aroma, and uh, reminds me of that a little bit. When was that? A while back, Grandma. Grandma <laughs> lived to be 99, but she passed in 1999. And then this is what, she would make, uh, you're talking about that yeah, was store-bought Hydrox cookies, but that's what they, it smells a little bit like that. And we did this without, I deliberately did this without looking up the nose and the things, because I, I wanted to see, can we identify it and not be led into it? Mm -hmm. So cookie dough, and then I'm going to flash them across the bottom, and we'll know for sure what, what's in here. It's interesting. It's crazy because you can smell something. Yeah, I just don't know you, what that is. You can't how identify. How to describe it. it? How about hold on? How, how about almonds? The sweetness of almonds. Something close to that. Yeah, the sweet. There's some nutty there. Mm-hmm. Like a, a nutty, woody, nutty. Sweet though. 
but sweet. Do you consider almonds sweet or yeah. pecans or something like that? Mm -hmm. That's the, on the sweeter side of things. Look at, look at Danny chugging down 120 proof bourbon like it's nothing. That'll teach those vodka drinkers a thing or two. <laughs> well, I'm Don't get caught up in the fancy drinks. I'm converted. He's converted. All right, everybody. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I was very pleasantly surprised. This is a very good tasting, very good quality. Uh, good on you, Ben Easy. Actually, did pretty good. 120 proof. Uh, I like it. Dan, is this a thumbs up or thumbs down for you on this whiskey? Thumbs up. Excellent. You kids. Here we go, guys. Rebel cask strength. A double thumbs up here on Thicker Liquor. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Catch you on the next one. Take a big whiff and clean your sinuses right up. Big strong smell. Burns my nostrils. <laughs> your eyes got all watery. <laughs> <laughs> Did they? <laughs> yeah, the look on your face when you drank that was not, not, like, not like pleasure. Yesterday. The one from yesterday, remember? Yeah. I was like, oh. Right, right, right.